Hey everybody, you're watching 5 Minute Web Dev, and this is another episode in our series, 5 Minute JavaScript. Today's topic is variables. Variables can be thought of as containers that allow us to store some value. More specifically, they're actually a name that we can use to access a location in memory where a value is stored. Variables in JavaScript can be used to store anything. Strings, numbers, booleans, objects, arrays, functions. You name it! Just about any value that you can come up with in JavaScript can be stored in a variable. There are three types of variables, each created using a specific keyword, var, let, or const. This video will focus on var variables. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the video on let and const variables when it comes out. Now, how do we create variables? Well, variable statements are typically made up of a declaration and an assignment. They look something like this. The declaration is the left side of the equal sign, the keyword and the variable name. The assignment is the right side, the assignment operator, which is the equal sign, and the value that you want the variable to store. The first assignment of a value to a variable can also be called the variable's initialization. Variables can also be reassigned. This means that a variable assignment could also look like this. Notice, there's no keyword. So you could have a declaration in one statement, then an assignment in another like this, or you could have a full statement and then a reassignment, or maybe a combination of the two where we declare the variable, initialize it, and then reassign it. Now let's talk about naming variables. Variables can be named any valid JavaScript identifier. I'll be making another video on identifiers in JavaScript, but one important thing I want to stress is to make sure your variable names are meaningful and would make sense to other programmers looking at your code. Now another important thing to understand about variables is their scope. Now if you don't know about scope in JavaScript, I've already made another video on it, so go ahead and check that out to learn more. But Variables are function scoped. If variables are declared outside of any function, they are globally scoped. In the case of the browser, they actually get added as properties to the global object, which is named window. Now, remember variable assignment? An important thing to remember about it is this. Assigning a variable without first declaring it implicitly adds it to the global scope. So if you go like this, my var is actually a global variable. It lives in the global scope as a property on the window object, window.myVar. This is typically not intended and it's a bad practice. Don't do it. You should always declare your variables. In fact, in ES5 strict mode, look out for a video on JavaScript versions. The JavaScript engine will throw an error if you create implicit globals. Other things to look out for when it comes to creating implicit globals are weird or kind of uncommon ways of declaring and assigning variables. For example, some people try to initialize two variables at once, like this. But the variable y in this example is actually a sign, but it's never declared, meaning it got added to the global scope. Again, this is not typically intended, and you should avoid it. However, you can do something like this. This is considered shorthand for writing it out completely like this. And thus, y will not be globally scoped. One more thing about variables, they're hoisted. I'm not going to explain what hoisting is here because it deserves its own video and I will have one coming out soon. Make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss it. It's a super important topic for you to understand. But in conclusion, that's variables in JavaScript. They allow you to store values in memory and have a reference to them for easy access. They're function scoped, but if you don't declare them, they will become globally scoped. Be mindful that you always declare your variables to avoid creating implicit globals. And remember that variables in JavaScript are hoisted. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching 5-Minute Web Dev. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment letting me know what other topics you'd like me to cover in the future. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time.